Right, we're here nice and early at Harry's today. Got a lot of work done, a lot of bales to move from Harry or from me or Ed's, if I could think of his name. But yeah. Uh, Harry's standing over there by the cows. Just looking in. Park this up and give him a hand, let him out, I suppose. Is there anything in that shed over there? Very small, maybe to have a tractor in, I suppose. Maybe it's just like a tool shed or something. Let's go over and have a chat to Harry. See how this cow is now that the vet has been out. Hi, right, Harry. Well, how are you getting on now? I'm not too bad. How's the cows going? Uh, how's your one with the sore hoof after the. The vet was around. Ah, yeah. And uh, she's done her antibiotics now and her painkillers, so. She should be. She's alright there now. None of them are limping, so. They're all good. They're all in good health. Alright, so do you want to let them out then? Yep. There's no food there, so. We don't have uh, to break in a bailer to a hater. And uh, before they come back in, I'll like, get you to do that this evening before you head home. And before you let them in, just give them some hay there and let them back in then. Yeah, no bother at all. I'll let them out here then. Let them out and get some grass into them. Oh. Out for the day. Some fresh air. Fresh grass. Hmm. Alright, Harry, have you any plans for today then? What's the crack? Um, are we f ever going to fertilise those grass fields we cut? I was just wondering because like we should probably get some slurry or some of this manure down. Uh, I don't know. We'll leave it so for the time being. We have too much on our hands. We may go... I'll get you to head up there and load up Ed. And I want to kind of tidy up this yard a bit. Alright. What are you thinking of tidying up? Or where? Or which corner? Or what are you on about? Um, ah, just there where the bales are. I don't really like the bales in that shed now. It's not really ideal. I'd like to have them in a, a like a shed of their own. and uh, Away from machinery anyway. And I don't really that's a messy shed. So it's tidied up. Tidy up all there between the, the shed and the silo. Um, get rid of some of the whole scrap. I have a skip coming down there just before lunch. Throw so any of the old metal in and anything that's not wanted. We'll throw it into the skip and get rid of it. And I'll have a lad come down and take them. Anything for scrap then. Barrels there, tractor. The whole tractor there is, must be there 20 year. Um, anything there that's not useful or not and never going to be used again. It'll just go for scrap. I'll get scrap value for it. Get, few pound, get some money. What's the crack with the silo? Is it? usable or working ah it hasn't been used in years so i used to use it the whole time when i was doing arable but sure i haven't been using it in years i just said i'd cover it over to stop any stop ah uh, stop some water getting into it anyway i might not stop everything but better than not having a cover over yeah ah oh. wonder is it still working do you want me to give you a hand tidying up then or when you going to heads or what's going on yeah, you head on to Ed's. I'll, uh, I'll get cracking here. I'll just skip coming and I'll uh, I'll make a start on this. And you go down to Ed's and sort out the bales. I've uh, rang him there last night, so we've arranged what we're getting and all. So I'll get you to bring down the Renault and uh, the bale trailer here. And load up what bales. You'll bring him back here and just clear his bales off his field into his sheds. And bring on the few bales and uh, he's given us his payment. And, uh, yeah, then I'll get you to give me a hand. Whatever's left here, tidying up. Alright, so, that sounds like a plan. Sure, I'll head over. Yeah, I'd say, ah, uh, yeah. Time enough, I suppose. Um, I don't know if John is going to be finished bailing you. He was to be bailing up this morning, so... I don't know if he's even started, or if he's finished, or what's going on, so... Um, I don't really know what to tell you, but... Yeah. Uh, ah, head on. See, sure. John, or... John likes to get stuff done early, so... Head on there, I'd say he has some, some of it done, you could start clearing some bales. Alright, I'll uh, chuck out this Renault up to the trailer then. Skip coming down to get rid of any of the dirt that's there and uh, get rid of them for scrap. It's always the best one on the beacon actually. Just uh, a big long trailer. I really hope John is up here finished. It'd make it so much handier just to get cracking. Half seven there now, so. 
that this cleared and come back and help Harry tidy up that corner. I agree, it's not really ideal to have the bales in the same shed as the machinery and grease and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it'd be kind of a bit better to have our own little shed or just the bales. Like, we really can't do much with what we have, so at least they're undercover, that's the main thing. We're not getting wet. Right, so we're here. Um, probably best bring this in and we'll come back and get the front loader there on that tractor. So I guess we're ready to rock. Oh, there's John. Oh, he's still bailing. He seems to have the hay. Yeah, it's gone off the far field, so we'll go across the way. I want to get in his way now because we don't want him giving out. But, uh, Little beep down a wave. Oh, that bale is rolling. Oh, it's gonna roll into the river. Let's jump out. Try and stop it. Oh. Try and give it a nudge and turn it, maybe. Oh. Jesus, it's heavy. Let's get up as well. Oh, the bale going on into the river like that, my god. That's the last thing we want. Oh, go on, girl. Go on, girl. Up we go. Oh, no, we're stuck. No. Oh. <laughs> Not ideal now. Ah, yeah. So we'll uh, start at the back and work our way up, I suppose. I hope this can pull actually across there now with the bales on the trailer. I'll have to run back and get the... I can leave this here like this. Right. Let me run back and get the Massey, the loader. Right, oh, is that a little four-wheel drive 165? My god, that's a cool little machine. This, I believe, is a 135. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah. Little two wheel drive 135 with the loader. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What a cool little machine. Wow, this is old school. Key is in her and all. It's. There we go. On the button. A great little machine. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then. Oh, we don't have the tilt. Let's go. Um, yeah, so... Can't tilt the bucket, it's the only thing. It's like an old... Just have to tip her. And then... Set her back like that. Yeah. Real old school. Anyway, let's go. This is proper old school. I hope this can get through the river. Oh, just barely. <laughs> right. Bring one bell house, I suppose. Nice using this for a change. This is so different. My god. This could take a while. 
This is proper old school. What a bricks on this thing, my god. Right, we're loaded up. I have these on, they're kind of not great, but it's hard to load with that loader because you can't tilt. It's just up and down and that's it. So we're gonna have to get a good run at this. Don is done in this field, so. Oh, oh I didn't think we were gonna pull that up over. Struggling. Not too bad. I think there's five bales in this field. Yeah. That's yeah, five. Not too bad, not too bad. No. Oh. Not bad. We'll go and get the other five after we unload these. Have to run and get the massy, so I will be back in a minute to unload these. I just want to see it as well how much bales are meant to be taken. Well lads, how are you getting on? Well, how are you getting on? Oh. Um Ed, just wanted to ask you, uh, how much bales am I taking them for Harry? Because uh, he never mentioned to me, he just said we were taking a few, so I have 11 there at the minute, and there's 5 more still here in this top field. I keep 10, and you bring on the 6. Um, yeah, alright, that's fair enough. Um, I'll, uh, I'll throw your tendon in beside the, your bales in there. Yeah, aye, aye. Okay. I'll uh, keep these guys then, I won't, I need to get back to the bit around the yard so I won't stay chatting too long. I'll talk to you after. Right. Six bales on top of what we have at home. I'd say Harry would be able to sell some at that and make some money. Definitely, because we're not going to go through that amount of bales with the few cows we have. Even if he gets a few more, I know he's on about getting some more. Uh, but I don't think he will. Glad I have my wellies on. It's not too deep here. Yeah, at least no hay landed in the in the river. Only for that bail I stopped it. We were lucky. Right, let's get into the Massey and unload these bales. Bread. Might as well pick up a bale when we're passing back through this field with the loader. So mucky, my god. I mean, that's just. Bring on this bear with us. Okay, so we have the two there and we have the four in the field to pick up. That's Ed's ten there. So. Jump in and I might leave the Ren out there and we'll just come in and out with the Massey. Might make it a bit easier. Right, we have, yeah. Now we're going to grab this one down here. Go. Probably would have been much quicker to bring the John Deere down, but maybe Harry needs it for moving around stuff in the yard that he was loading up the skip. So looking forward to getting back to rooting through and helping him tidy up, make that yard a lot more better. Oh, John seems to be heading on. Seems to be gone. Aye. Well, you best do the same then. You best load up and get back to Harry's. Ah, oh, dying for a mug of tea as well, to be fair. Right, we should be good to go after this. Not bad payment. That's what I wanted. Just give her the knock in with the end of the bucket then. There we go. Oh. 
Let's go back this in here. Oh. Cool, cool, cool machine. It's definitely something different that we're not used to driving every day. I mean, Harry doesn't have the most sophisticated machinery, but that is the basic of the basic. But it was a hell of a lot of fun. I think we're good to go. Let's not disturb it. I might just close this gate. Yeah. Let's head back then to Harry and start hiding this yard. I wonder how much he's done already. Close this up. Nice. Now, back to Harry. Oh, I'm absolutely starving. I can't wait to get back to my bag and eat my sandwiches. Have some tea. Oh, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. It definitely would have been easier to bring the Jace or the John Deere with that loader. That old Massey loader is very, very awkward, but I'm very slow. But ah, we got the job done. And we got six bells of hair. So, I mean, I can't really complain. We have a lot of hay at home ourselves, so Harry should get a lot of money from selling a couple of these bales. I don't know if he's going to sell these six that's on it. Um, I don't know what his plans are, but... Oh, there's John's baler there now. He must have gone in for his own tea. I'm absolutely starving. I wonder what Harry has done at home on the yard. He's had the last couple of hours there to do a lot of work, so it wants us to give him a hand tidy up now as well. Hopefully we get to tidy up over in that scrap corner, as he calls it, where all the machinery are. I'd say there's some nice things in there. We might be able to get in and fix up some old stuff and sell it. Well, Harry can sell it. We can help him fix it up and get it back in working order and sell some stuff and get him some money in his account. Because then we might be able to see if he'd do the arable. I'd like to see him do well, because I really like Harry, I just, I wish we could do something, but I know it's probably early, and we can't be rushing the man to do stuff, but, we'll see how he gets on. We're doing good so far though, can't complain, can't complain. But he has the John Deere out, he's two skips. Uh, let's not leave this in the way, he's the he a header pulled out from somewhere. I never even noticed it there before. Right, let's uh, head on over and see what the crack is. Well, Harry. Oh, you know, how would you get home with Ed? Ah, yeah, I went up there and uh, John was just finishing off the second field, so I cut across the river and uh, I start tidying up and clearing the first field. And by the time I was done that, he was done. So uh, Ed said six bales to bring on, so he has ten. Got 16 on both fields, so if he wants 10 and we can take the 6 if we want, so I presume that's alright with you. Oh yeah, sure, if that's what head wants to give us, we'll take it. I mean, Jesus, I don't know, we've an awful lot here at the minute. Um, but not a lot of cows. Yeah, that's a lot of hay, alright, for the 8 cows we have. Ah, uh, I'll sell it anyway if we don't use it and we can use next year's fresh stuff. We'll, we'll keep it for now and... Whatever we don't use, we'll sell it next year and we'll make our own again next year. Uh, we'll make a bit of a profit off it that way. Yeah, that sounds good. How would you get on tidying up here? I got some of the scrap out. Um, filled up the container with rubble and steel and just waste. So the header there needs to go over to the other corner, scrap corner. It's belonged to a harvester I have over there. That needs to be thrown over there with that. And this is an old three point linkage pallet fork. Uh, don't know if it works. Uh, we have to back one of the tractors up to it and see. But if it does work, it might be quite handy. Load a few stuff. Um, or unload a few stuff. Because I don't actually have palafox for the front of the John Deere. I only have a bucket and I have a bale spike. So. If it works, we'll keep it. If not, you can go with the scrap. And that was it or there. Tractor that can go for scrap. Yeah, that's all steel can go for scrap. These cages. 
these barrels are all empty um, and plastic containers are fine they're not too bad I can use them to fill it with diesel they're fine these steel ones can go these milk churns can go um, and then there's just a lot of rubbish at the back of the shed down here all that needs to go as well bags of old cement and stuff I'm pouring the floor here it's just a lot of rubbish a lot of rubbish we need to just get into it and tidy up this corner we had this all free the space hold clear it wouldn't be a bad spot we might build a shed here put the hay in it might be a bit tight too i don't know but look it needs to be tidied anyway it's just rubbish sitting there so um yeah it needs to be something needs to be done with and look sure look scrap i know it's costly probably a bit to get the steel or the skips but look it's a lot of scrap there and it's good heavy scrap so you might get a bit of money in return for it so um anyway right let's crack into it i suppose the reynolds is fine there with that um yeah I'll, uh, I'll jump into the john deere here and we'll see about this pallet for this might be a handy thing to to have if it works yeah handy to have actually because we have a load and unload stuff onto the back of the trailer there and stuff Give her a lift. Plug her in. Right, jump in there and we'll see the shore. Okay. She's sticky or something, yeah, she could. Fall in the tines, right? What do you think, Harry? Yeah, a bit greasy. It needs to be greased. It's a bit sticky or something. Um, but it works, so we'll grease her up and we'll keep that. That's actually going to be quite handy. So, all right. Um, right. Um, what are we doing with the steel then? We've got that on the way down with no loader and stuff. He's going to take all this away, so. I was waiting for him to come down and your man to come back and take the skips. So. Right, do you mind if I go and get some tea there then? I'm absolutely starving. Have you not really had anything to eat yet? No, I left me sandwiches and stuff in the, on my bike. Uh, on the bag. I never uh, I never brought it with me. I'll go on there and get some of your food. Yeah. I'll, I'll tidy up this and I'll wait for your man to come here. So you go on there and get a bit of food. Alright, thanks Harry, thanks. Oh my god. I feel bad now, I know I should be helping them, but my god, I'm too hungry for this. My belly is falling out of me. Oh my god, thank god for that. I feel much better. Uh, my man was there for Lurie, I seen him drive out. So yeah, a lot of space cleared up. Looks great. What have we left to do, Harry? Um, I'm going to sell the sprayer and that whole harvester of a lad. We'll try and give them a wash and maybe sell them. I don't think I'm going to need them anymore. As for this then, an old cage here full of old twine for the bailer that we don't use anymore, so... Yeah, it's hard to know what to do with that. We'd sell that. Um, and then there's grease. There's feck all grease left in these, so... Uh, these could be all taken... To be refilled. So, I think I actually have some over in the other shed. So I might actually... Now that we have the palafox use up whatever grease is in them grease up the pallet forks we'll load them up onto the back of the diner truck and i'll bring them down and I'll get you to refill them you passed your license last week didn't you yeah i did yeah i got it last week so all right so you can drive down then and you can get two pallets them two all uh refilled and stuff right that's great well that's what you do then we'll go over and check in the shed um for another pallet of grease barrels like that and we will load them onto the back of the diner and you may go down and get them refilled at the store. Um, I'll ring them here now and get it all organised and go check that. Alright, that's grand. Okay, so...
So, here's one. Let's try and pull it out. Ah. Ah. Right, so we get that with the loader, the pallet forks. And, yeah, this shit could do a clean out too. There's another one up there. I just said get two though, so, yeah. I will just get the two. I'll say it to him, but I'll just... We load this one up and load the other one up. The side of her. Right. Just slide the two pallets in there, we should be fine. We'll use up our greases in this. Uh, could probably actually... Leave the loader there, we won't need it. Perfect. Haven't greased up, so let's uh, load it on to the back. To Dana. Oh. It's hard to see where we're going, but. Get her back up near here. We're taking the cab off. <laughs> the last thing I don't think Harry wants. Alright. Should be fine there. We'll go over and get the other ones then. Right, shot the straps over and we may just go up the side here. Clip it in. Nice. Absolutely perfect. Then gonna knock this off. Let's head on down to the store. See where we're going. No, oh. I'll run on in here and see what we have to do. That was easy. Just swap the barrels around with the forklift. Took the two crates that we had on off and gave us two fresh ones. So this should do us for a while. Definitely something different driving the dyno though, than the tractors. Well, I guess we're running ahead just bad. Head back. Play in the cows, give them a bit of feed, the usual. Head home for the night then. Heading on to 5 o'clock there now, so. And we get back with this. And in the cows and give them a few bales of hay, break it up. Probably use up the, the rest of those small square bales. So. Head her home for the evening then. Chill out. Watch a bit of TV, play some video games. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, not sure if he wants it in there or over in the workshop. Or should we leave it here for the time being? Right. Let's uh, knock in here and see what I had. What he says. Alright, you got the grease. Yep, they just took off the two that we put on and took on those two, they're full, obviously fresh, so I didn't know how you wanted them, whether you wanted them back over there or in the workshop behind me here, so Ah, we'll leave them there for the minute. We'll uh, stick them in the workshop, that's the next thing that needs to be tidied out. Um I'll sell off those two to the sprayer and the harvester that's over there. And we 
I need to start tidying up into the that workshop then and start having moving barrels and hiding that up in a, in a big way and then I'm going to tackle into scrap corner and we'll see how we can salvage and fix and maybe get running and sell and whatever else they may just go for scrap so we'll have to root through it here in the next few weeks all right that sounds good to me harry um i'll let in these cows then and give them a bit of feed and try to head on home then yeah that sounds good thanks a million i'll be seeing you in the morning all right see you harry Hey. let's head on run off to beacon and uh we'll let in these cows and that's about it Grand old day, we've done a lot of work for Ed in the last couple of days, so it's going to be time to start doing a few bits for Harry now. Um, start tidying up the yard and yeah, that's taking care of the cows and stuff. We'll be back doing work around this yard. Happy times! Anyway, let's get going.